two years after the partial promulgation of the Ampatuan massacre case, full justice remains elusive for the families of at least 34 journalists who perished in the attack. Dante Almento tells us why live. Yes, Dante, go ahead. Good evening, Harleen. Attorney Nena Santos, legal counsel for the 35 complainants in the Ampatuan massacre, has disclosed that 82 accused of the gruesome killing are still at large. Verdict will not be handed down unless they can join the case trial or present their defense. Attorney Santos added the principals of the incident such as Andal Ampatuan Jr. and Zaldi Ampatuan have also appealed before the Court of Appeals. Thus, until now, kins of the victims have not yet received the compensation awarded by the court two years after the promulgation of judgment in December 2019. Hindi mo siya matanggap until may finality of judgment, di ba? So, ganun, ganun pa ang hihintayin mo. So, sakali, madaliin ng Court of Appeals para kung sakaling mag, magpunta pa sila ng Supreme Court, madali, madaliin na rin. Kasi ilang taon nang naghihintay, mga wala pang na-receive yung mga pick. Despite this, families of the victims vow to continue the fight. Maria Rena Fe Castillo, daughter of photojournalist Rinaldo Bebot Momay, wants her father included in those killed in the massacre. Based on a court decision, Momay was excluded because his body was not found. I will fight in order to move forward. Being able to forward is to stay on the process of finding justice for my father, Reynaldo Bebot Momay. This process became my own racetrack, which I must go over and over again until I get to my destination, and that is to make someone accountable for my father's death, for a daughter's loss. Nagkakaisa naman tayong lahat na uh, si Rinaldo Mumay is the 58th uh, victim of the Ampatuan massacre. So, patuloy pa rin yung Fight for 58 campaign. Meanwhile, Harleen, in a statement, Presidential Task Force on Media Security Executive Director Under Secretary Joel Egko said they shall continue to pursue the suspects at large until they are all arrested. Today, the country commemor commemorated the 12th anniversary of the Ampatuan massacre that killed over 52 individuals on December 23, 2009 in Maguindanao Province. And that's our latest live. Back to you, Harleen. Thank you, Dante Amento, reporting live from Quezon City.